Once upon a time, there lived three piglets with their mother in a small house. It was time for them to leave their home and learn to live on their own. Their mother called the three piglets next to her. My dear children, the time has come for you to go out into the world. Go and start your new lives. But don't ever forget, whatever you do in this world, do the best you can. This is the only and the best way to stay alive. A little sad with a bit of excitement, the three little piglets said their goodbyes to their mummy and were on their way. After a while, they found some piece of land where they could build their own home. The youngest piglet was determined to build his home with straw. He thought this was the easiest and the fastest way to build a home. That way, he had heaps of time to play. The youngest of them all finished his house in one day. He yelled out to the other piglets. Hey, you guys, I'm already finished! The eldest piglet had a look at the house. Mm, okay, but this house doesn't look steady at all. How will we protect ourselves from the wolf? The youngest piglet didn't take any notice of his brother. Don't worry, nothing will happen. Okay, don't say I didn't warn you. The middle piglet decided to make his house out of wood. From the branches he had collected in the woods, he decided to build a little cubby house. His house took exactly three days to finish. This house was a bit more steady than the one with straw. The eldest piglet walked over towards him. Uh, my dear brother, you've done a great job, but this doesn't look safe at all. Is this house going to protect us from the wolf? The middle piglet answered. Don't worry, this house is very safe. Okay, don't say I didn't warn you. While the two little piglets were having a great time in their newly built homes, the eldest of them all was constantly working because he was building a home from bricks and rocks. The other piglets thought that his effort was useless. All they did was play around and kill time. Why would you bother with this when you can quickly finish like we have? He, how scared is he? The eldest piglet didn't bother listening to them. He worked for one whole week and managed to finish his house made out of bricks and rocks. A day later, a hungry wolf arrived near their home. He first stood in front of the house made of straw. The little piglet was resting in his house made of straw. The wolf knocked on the door. Open the door and let me in. If you don't, I'll huff and puff and blow your house in. You can't do anything to me! My house is steady enough! And so the wolf huffed and puffed and he blew his house in. But with great effort, the little piglet managed to get away. And off he ran over to his brother's house made from tree branches. He knocked on the door, and when the middle piglet opened the door, the little piglet threw himself inside the house. Hey, close the door! The wolf can come in here! Don't worry, he can't do anything to us in this house. After a while, the wolf came by the second piglet's wooden house and yelled inside. Open the door and let me in! If you don't, I'll huff and puff and blow your house in. You can't blow my house in! And so the wolf huffed and puffed and he blew his house in and brought it down. Both piglets ran to the third piglet's house and barely got away from the wolf. Brother, the wolf is going this way, what are we going to do? The oldest piglet answered very sure of himself. Uh, don't worry, uh, the wolf cannot come in this house. A little later, the starving wolf came by the third piglet's house of bricks and stone and yelled to the three piglets. 
Open the door and let me in. If you don't, I'll huff and puff and blow your house in. Don't you even try, you bad wolf. You cannot come in this house. The wolf got very angry. He huffed and puffed, but nothing happened. He could not bring his house down. He tried and tried, but he couldn't move one single brick. Finally, being exhausted, the wolf decided to try another way to go in. He saw the chimney up on the roof and started to climb. Realizing that the wolf was going to climb up on the roof and come down the chimney, the piglet quickly lit up the fireplace right under the chimney and put a big bucket of water on the woods. The wolf barely climbed up the chimney and threw himself in and went straight into the boiling bucket. Oh, help! Help, I'm burning! Save me! Finally, being free from the wolf, the piglets hugged each other with joy. The three piglets went to their mother's house the next day to tell her all that had happened. The youngest one came next to his mother. You were right, mummy. Whatever we did in this world, we have done it to our best. If you really work for something, it will be a success. From that day on, the two piglets were never lazy. They worked hard like their big brother and lived a happy and safe life. In a forest lived a rather rickety mouse. He was so afraid of the fox, the wolf and even himself for that matter, that if the wind blew and a branch cracked, he looked around for a hole he could hide in. Because of this, all the little animals made fun of him. <laughs> How scared is he? You're even scared of the wind. You're so scared. You're, You're so, so scared. scared. You're so scared. <laughs> One day, the mouse got his act together and went over to see the king of the jungle, the lion. The lion had just finished having his lunch. He was taking a nap in front of the cave. The mouse's friends were all curious as to what the mouse had planned. The mouse started to climb up the lion's tail. He got up on the lion's back. With a very confident look on his face, he posed to his friends. Although he was very scared, he was doing everything in his hand not to make it obvious. Right at that moment, the lion woke up. And as he shook his fur, the mouse fell off. The mouse and the lion came eye to eye. All the other animals were worried. Oh no, the lion will swallow the mouse. What nerve, what courage. What are you doing on my back? Kick out the jungle. Please don't eat me. I'm the most scared that the bus swallow them below that hole. But life passes up by shaking with fear. If a leaf falls off of the tree, I'm scared. I'm fed up with this. I want to get rid of this fear. You're the king of the jungle. With just one big roar, the animals fear you. Would you consider taking me to your custody? The lion listened to the mouse in silence. The mouse was wondering what his reply was going to be. <laughs> and why should I help you? Give me one good reason as to why I shouldn't eat you. 
Your help will be returned, I promise. Maybe one day, I will help you. As soon as the mouse finished what he had to say, the lion roared in such a way... How can such a tiny mouse as yourself be of any help to me? But seeing the tiny mouse shaking in front of him, the lion decided not to eat him. Thank God I am full. Now get out of my sight. The mouse ran and got away from there. Watching all that was happening from afar, the friends of the mouse were really surprised. Some time had passed by, the lion got hungry and started wandering around in the forest. But he could not notice the hunter's trap and got caught. He was hung in the air in a big net. He tried to break free from the net, but he could not do it. He was the king of the forest, so if he could yell for help, he would be humiliated. And all the hunters would hear him and come to get him faster. Being out of options, he began to wait. Meanwhile, the other animals living in the forest noticed the lion. But nobody could dare get close to him. When he was passing by, Little Mouse saw the lion and he decided to help him. He went directly next to him. He started to climb the lion's long tail and when he reached the net, he began to chew on it. At that moment, the bunny came running next to them. Hey buddy, hurry up, the hunters are coming. The other animals who were gathered around suddenly started to run around when they heard the word hunter. But the mouse kept on chewing with persistence. In the end, the net was torn apart and the lion fell down and got away. Come on, jump on my back. Let's get out of here. The mouse jumped on the lion's back and they got away from there. All breathless, the lion arrived in front of his cave. He kneeled down and the mouse jumped off. When you told me that one day you might be able to help me, I underestimated you. I thought you were a tiny mouse with no use at all. But you saved my life. Thank you. It's my pleasure, my king. You don't have to be afraid of me anymore. In fact, you do not need to fear anything because you're a very courageous mouse. If I am the king of the jungle, from now on, you are my courageous prince. Lion and the mouse began to laugh. <laughs> All the animals watching all that was happening from afar came out and applauded the courageous mouse. The lion and the mouse became best friends and the forest lived in peace forever. Once upon a time, the animals in a farm were left with no food. The little red hen decided to wander around the field to look for something to eat. She first went next to the cow. Will you come with me around the field to find something to eat? No, I won't. It's too hot. I can't be bothered to walk. She then went next to the pig. <laughs> Will you help me find food? No, I can't come. It's too hot and I can't be bothered to move. Later then, went next to the dog. <laughs> Will you help me find food? No, I can't. It's too hot and I can't walk when it's hot. And in the end, went next to the duck. <laughs> Will you come with me to find something to eat? No, I can't. It's too hot. I can't get out of the water. When nobody bothered to come with her, the hen decided to leave the farm on her own. As she walked, she found some wheat grains on the ground. 
She was very happy. She returned to the farm. She decided to plant the wheat grains. She thought that her friends would help her. Cow, look, I found wheat grains. Would you like to plant them with me? No, I already told you it's too hot. The hen went over to the pig. Pig, look, I found wheat grains. Would you like to plant them with me? No, I can't. The weather is way too hot for this. She then went next to the dog. Dog, look, I found wheat grains. Would you like to plant them with me? No, it's way too hot. And at last she went next to the duck. Hey, duck, I found some wheat grains. Would you like to plant them with me? No, I can't. I can't leave the water in this heat. Well, I'll plant them myself. When she saw that no one wanted to help her, she decided to plant them herself. Weeks had gone by. The rainy days had begun. The seeds had sprouted. But all the wild grass in the garden needed some cleaning. Who's going to help me clean the grass? It's too muddy now. I can't help you. I'm not up to it. I won't leave my spot. I'll get dirty. Can't do it. Don't feel good today. I can't help. In that case, I'll do it on my own. The little red hen began to clean the wild grass amongst the sprouts. Not long after, the wheat began to grow. It was now time to harvest the ripe wheat. The hen went next to her friends and asked if they would help her harvest the crop. Hey cow, buddy! Wheat has grown! Will you help me harvest the crop? No, I can't. Hey pig! Guess what? The wheat has grown! Will you help me harvest the crop? No, I can't. I won't. Hey, my body dog. The wheat has grown. Will you come and help me harvest the crop? Who, oh, me? Of course not. Hey, ducky ducky. The wheat has grown. Will you help me harvest the crop? Of course I can't. Okay, I'll do it on my own. The little red hen worked till night time. She harvested the wheat kernels, one by one, all by herself. It was now time to turn the wheat to flour. Off she went to ask for help from her friends. Hey guys! We must grind the wheat to make flour. Who would like to help me? I can't help. It's time for me to give milk. I can't move from my spot. <laughs> I can't help either. It's nap time for me. I can't help at all. Can't help. Need to get into the water and cool down. The hen ground the wheat in the mill and turned it into flour. Now let's make some delicious bread. The hen went next to her friends and wanted to give them one last chance. Cow, I'm going to make bread. Would you like to... Help me? Nope, I can't. I'm in no situation to work. What about you, pig? <sighs> Not today. I'm too tired to help today. No, no, I can't. No, I can't. And besides, I don't know how to make bread. This time, the hen was very angry. All by herself, she went to the kitchen. First, she made bread with the flour she had grounded. Then, she gave it a form and at last put it in the oven and waited for it to bake. After the amazing smell of the bread had spread, she took it out of the oven, went out to the garden and sat on the table. Later, called out to her friends. Hey guys, the bread is ready. Who would like to eat it with me? Seeing the amazing bread in front of the hen, in a flash they all went next to her. No, I want some. Oh, me too. Right when I'm so hungry. Great timing, hen. Hey, me too, hen. I love bread. Come on, let's eat. No, I can't. I can't. I did everything on my own. 
Only I deserve to eat it all on my own. With great appetite, the hen began to eat her bread, but couldn't handle the fact that her friends were so hungry. From now on, if you promise to help, I will share my bread with you. All the farmyard animals were ashamed and sorry. They knew she was right. We, we promise you have no more laziness. The hen knew her friends learned a good lesson, so she shared her bread with them. With an amazing appetite, they were now so happy with a full tummy. <laughs>